Hey everybody, Jochen Haydn here, and I have some channel announcements. I would like to let everybody know that Lodric has requested for me to use his mulligan. And for those of you who may not be native English speakers, uh, a mulligan is what we call someone who gets a freebie or a chance to do something over because they made a mistake or they don't like the way something turned out. So as you all may recall, early in our campaign, I screwed up and sent the Lexington, which you're seeing in the pictures here, incorrectly I clicked the wrong button and it did not follow the enterprise back to Pearl the way I had wanted to so Lodric ended up catching up to it with his Keto Butai and he destroyed it that was not what I wanted to happen that was not the intent of those orders I had given I clicked the wrong buttons and sent the the Lexington in the wrong direction and he caught up to it I let Lodric know that I had made a mistake and he very graciously allowed me to rerun the turn and I fixed the mistake we moved on and I promised Lodric that in the future if he ever made a mistake or he felt like he needed to rerun a turn I would honor that so I am putting this video out today to let you guys know that I am honoring his request now that's not to say that I necessarily agree with it I'm gonna let you watch the turn yourself so you can see what transpired personally I I think that he would be better off using this rerun for something in the future, something of, of a bigger mistake than this. Granted, this one uh, it didn't go the way he wanted, right? Um, but I, personally, I think it's recoverable. But that's not for me to decide. I am honoring the promise that I made to him when he helped me out way back when, early in the campaign, and I'm going to allow him to rerun this. But after that, we're done. No more reruns for myself or for him. If we make any mistakes, if we have a bad turn or anything happens, that's that's it. We're, we're, we're even and we're square. Um, one last thing I want to say about this before I show you the turn is that uh, it's not my intention to call him out or to question his motives or to say that his decision is is unacceptable to me. Um, this was not forced on me. I I He gave me the option to say no. I did not because I want to be fair to him. So there was no gun to my head. At any point, I could have said, no dice, Lodric, you're stuck with this. you got to live with it. But I don't think that's a sporting thing to do, considering he gave me the courtesy of letting me rerun my turn when he could have let the Lexington stay sunk, and it would have severely hampered me going forward into this campaign. So no judgment on Lodric. That's not what the point of this video is. I just want you guys to see what's happening so that it's transparent and everybody knows that I've paid my debt. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the turn. Let's take a look. So, Argonaut takes the swing and a miss at some destroyers south of a ball. He's definitely on the hunt for us here. All right, so you see this this triple DD thing. This is a um, this is just an ASW group. He's got nothing coming in or out of there. Pretty, pretty standard turn so far. Pretty quiet. Okay. Got some spottings here. And then here he is sweeping, looking around for us. But we're not there. And we're not there either. Okay. Big Ray trying to slow us down. But he does almost <laughs> he does almost nothing to us getting into there, which is fine. The overcast weather helps. Again, he's throwing everything he's got at us. We take no casualties really. Oh here it comes, guys. This is the start of it. Interesting. So the raids start. 
Hmm. All right, there's more of this to come for sure. 13,000 feet. All right, keeping notes on that. 10,000 feet bombing. Okay, another read at Concian. He's trying to slow us down here. He's trying to slow us down here too. Same thing, Concian. He's just trying to get what he can to buy time for his retreating units at Kukong for sure. All right, incessant raids, same spots. Wow, he's going heavy at Mole Mine. All right, I see you, Lodric. Yikes. How did I not have any aircraft up there? All right, well, the usual. Yeah. Oh, we got one. That was just the AM phase, was it? Yeah, damn, we got to go through that again. May have hit the fast forward button there a bit. Okay, so here's where I think things go off the rails for Lodric. So he's coming at us with everything he's got. This is the the most monstrous death stack I've ever seen. I'm sure maybe you veterans have seen bigger ones, but this is this is where it, it goes south for him, I believe. So everything from Loyang made it into this hex in time. You know, I don't think he was, I thought he thought he could beat us in there, but he didn't. So let's fast forward through this and find out exactly what happened. Man, this is going to take a while to resolve. There's so many units here. Oh, yeah. I can tell we're getting the better of him here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, wow. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Okay, so basically now we know what he's got. His entire death stack here, which is the bulk of everything he can bring in from, from Quang Tung Army, I assume... Is 6,500. Well, we've got 4,400. Look at the disparity in the assault values. What a slaughter. Are you ready for this? Let's scroll down. <whistles> Holy moly. 28,000 casualties. So, one thing to note here is that uh, as far as, like, destroyed things, he didn't actually lose that much. Um, the, a lot of disabled, but these can be recovered. I, 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 personally, I don't think Lodric should use his mulligan on this. Yeah, these are bad numbers, but he also destroyed a lot of my squads, and my squads are harder to come by than his. I, I, I think this is a mistake. I really think this is a mistake for him. He can recover from this completely. You know, but what if he needs this mulligan or he needs this rerun for something more important like losing a carrier due to a misclick like I did? What if his Lexington moment is something other than this? He's going to redo a turn for this. I, I don't think that's smart, personally. But I'm going to honor what I said because I, I said that I owed him one for letting me save the Lexington when I lost it way back at the beginning of our campaign. So if this is what he wants to use it on, so be it. But personally, I just think it's a big mistake. 
I wouldn't do it. But hey, who am I? But now we can take this opportunity to grab all this intel of exactly what we're facing here. And now he knows what we got, but it doesn't change the fact that he's stuck there. And he knows he can't break through. So there it is. I need, we have another bombardment going on here at Kukong, which I think is also a mistake. He should be leaving this hex. He shouldn't be staying here doing this. Yeah, unfortunately, we take a lot of casualties here, but not much I can do to stop it right now. We do have more troops coming in, though, so... Uh, you know, I don't know what his end and his end goal is here, but he may want to think about something else. So yeah, that's basically the end of the turn. He didn't attack Clark Field, so we're gonna build that up. I. Mm. Oh. That, that's basically it. So there you have it, guys. That's the turn. That's what we will be rerunning. Um, so basically, in conversation with Lodric, he was not tracking or prepared or understanding how dire the ground situation in Sion was. Um, and, you know, he he wants to not do that again. So that's his decision. We'll we'll stick with it and that's what uh that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching.